friends, welcome or welcome back. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome, my name is Kay. I use the zero-based cash envelope method to pay my bills, cash flow my sinking funds, and also I've set a goal to increase my savings by $10,000 this year. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a little bill swap and cash condensing in my long-term savings binder. So I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing to follow my progress. So guys, I just wanted to jump on real quick because I missed everyone and I wanted to do a quick uh, cash condensing and bill swap with my new little prop money bills I made for my channel. I've got some cute little avocado bucks in the denominations of $500, $1,000, and fifteen thousand i'm sorry fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars so yeah i don't think we'll be using the fifteen hundred and the two thousand today i also created a fully funded um not sure when i'll be able to use these but i'm prepared for uh 2024's progress so i'm gonna just jump right in this is my long-term savings binder um it's got categories for business expenses car insurance car care home care, my HOA dues, my long-term savings goals for a international vacation, hair and beauty, my car deductible, Christmas, and anniversary. Oh, and a new laptop category. So I just wanna go through each binder and see what we can do to consolidate. I wanna get some of this cash back in the bank if possible into my high yield savings account that is. So in expenses, we have $400 in prop bills already, but it looks like we have 540 total. So what I'm gonna do is take this 100 back to the bank and take out this prop bill, prop my prop $100 bills and put in my $500 avocado buck in this category. So we still have 540 in expenses. Car insurance is next. My uh, next six month premium is due and they um, still am researching different companies, but I have $800 in prop bills and then 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1000. So we have the rest will consolidate later. So what I'm gonna do is take the cash back to the bank Take out the prop bills and put in my $100 or $1,000 placeholder. Let's see what we can do to further consolidate. So I'll put two tens back and grab a 20. All right, so we are done in this category. So car insurance, since I'm gonna most likely pay it online, it makes sense just to put it straight back into the bank account so I can prepare for that renewal. Uh, car care is my next category. I'm not sure I have anything to condense in here, but let's double check. No, it looks like we are fully condensed with $90. All right, next up is home care. This category, I will most likely use the money in this category online as well. I have to place a Wayfair order soon. So let's see what we've got. We've got $300 in prop bills, 20, 40, 50. So I don't have a $50 bill. So what we're gonna do is take out, let's see. We'll take out this and put in a 20. So now we got some fives. What I'm gonna do is move this back just a little more, okay. And then we are going to put a 20 down. So we still have 350 in this category. How is everyone doing this week? I hope y'all are uh, having fun on your no spend challenges. I know that a lot of you are doing the no spend challenge. I am doing pretty well. I have not been spending any money since um, Justin's birthday, which by the way, we had a really great time. Dinner was wonderful. I definitely, if you're in the DFW area, recommend the Drake's Hollywood. Um, house or HOA does not need any condensing. 
I will um, put a picture of our dinner. It was so, so good. Um, and we went next after that. I took him for dessert at a creamery in the Dallas area called Surreal Creamery. And oh my God, that was amazing. So it looks like we can do some condensing in vacation. So I think this might have a thousand dollars in it already. Let me double check. One, 10, yes. So we are ready for a $1,000 placeholder. So I'm gonna take this out and put this in. And it looks like we have 25 and five. So I'm gonna put back 20 and fives and take out a 20. All right, so we now have $1,025 still, and I am saving for a cruise to Greece. It's gonna be an expensive trip, so this will be a long-term savings. Um, hair and beauty most likely will, let's see if we can't condense this in cash-wise. I will have to spend some of this money in cash and then some online. So we're gonna do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So let me add another $100 bill in cash. And then let's see what we have. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right, so it looks like I can put $20 back in fives and ones and grab a 20. So we have 223, let me double check my tracker. Yep, 223 in Hair and Beauty. And next up is car deductible. We only have 90 in this category, so it's already condensed. Christmas, I don't believe needs anything yet. 20, 40, 60, 81. Actually, it does need a $100 placeholder. So let me grab one of my bills here. Let me see if I have sort of a wintry one. This is a wintry one, so we'll save this one for Christmas. And we will go ahead and start putting this money in my high yield savings account. Since we are a year away from Christmas, that'll be perfect place for this money so that it can build interest. Um, where, did, where did this tracker come from? This is vacation, huh? No, this is car care or car insurance, most likely. Yep, car insurance. Make sure he doesn't get lost. Okay, so back over to anniversary. Oops, I don't think this one is ready to condense. It only has $10 in it, so we are, let's see if I can pop this back on. Okay, so now we are heading into laptop. Laptop should have a thousand and one hundred in it. So I think what I'm gonna do is just replace this one thousand bill I made and actually put this one in. And we are now ready for my laptop. Okay, this is also very long-term savings. I don't need a laptop right away, but I will need one in the next couple of years. So my goal in this category is to save $4,000, I believe, but this tracker is going to save $3,000. So we'll get back to doing that. And I think we are done now with this. I am so happy to finally be able to condense this one. I have been wanting to use my new placeholders. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take a look and count to see what we're taking back to the bank. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. I believe that was $400 going back to the high yield savings account. I think that is a great little transfer. So I am going to make this deposit probably by the end of the month. I may just hold on to this money um, until we can get a better idea of what this month I was able to put into my high yield savings account. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this quick little bill swap and cash condensing. If you did, I hope you consider subscribing. I would love to have you here to follow my progress. And I will see everyone on my next video, which will be Friday for my weekly cash stuffing. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.